Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Many of his songs are etched in our minds and hearts forever. Addictive Love, Lost Without You, and In Harm's Way, just to name a few. In case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm talking about B.B. Winans. And of course, our sister Summer recently sat down with him to chat about his journey through gospel music, his new album, new book, and so much more. Let's take a look. I am so thrilled to be here with you, Mr. B.B. Winans. Thank you. How are you? How's your summer been? It's been quick. Summer really just went by, but it's been good, so no complaints. No well, that's, complaints. that's excellent. And you have a lot of things to be excited about what's yeah, coming up. It's been um, not planned this way, but it seemed like everything just started happening at the same time. So you have the musical, you have the new CD that's out, and the book that's coming out in October. And uh, I'm getting as much rest as possible. <laughs> Yes, and that's important because like you said, when you have that busy schedule, you have to yeah. take time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things about you, and I've been a fan like forever, one of the things I love about you is that you have a way of making, you know, God tangible and Christian music tangible to the everyday person. Yeah. Um, you know, with songs like Change Nature, mm -hmm. and Change Your Nature and Addictive Love, mm -hmm. uh, we all know that one, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. had that one planned. So what's your approach when it comes to sharing your music and creating your music songwriting throughout your career? Very simple answer to that. Um, I've always chose to write about my life. Okay. So when you play a song or you name a song, I know where I was and what I was going through when I wrote that song. So when you hear Lost Without You, it's simply what I would be if I was without God. I would be lost and, and anything else that's out there. So I, I simply was bold enough to write my reality. And so my reality is even with God in my life, what God means to me in my ups and downs, in my friendships, in my work area and all that. And I think because it comes from the heart, it goes to people's to the heart of people, no matter if you believe in God or not. And that is so true. And, and do you feel like sometimes that's missing when it comes to Christian or gospel music with some, some music? Well, well, well some, or? I mean, there's just, just variety of music and it's just a choice of what you listen to and what you enjoy, whether that's traditional gospel or contemporary, if that's uh, uh, jazz, no matter what style of music. Um, and people are drawn to different variety styles of music. So I found myself, you know, growing up loving contemporary music. And so that's why I think I resemble what I heard. I love it. So your new project, yes. Need You. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really hard to believe that you haven't made music in 10 years. Ten, like 10 years, yes. Enjoyed being <laughs> away. Um, because I've always been compassionate about writing. Singing has always been something I enjoy, but not very passionate about. So for the last 10, 12 years, I've been focusing on writing. Uh, my, my musical, uh, Born for This, and so I just, I'm, I enjoy that more so this on the other side of the camera. Um, <laughs> but with this, it brought me to the point of recording this album, and so I, I'm, in, I, I, I'm excited to share that because I believe there's things there that I think will touch people's hearts. Need You. Yes. The title. Yes. Okay, that sounds personal. Personal. I think it's simple for us to say to each other, I love you. I mean, you meet somebody and, and in 20 minutes you're saying, you know, I love you. <laughs> but to say to someone, I need you, yeah. it's a little bit harder because you become vulnerable to that person and you give them the keys to either abuse you with or, 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 or use you. And so it's the same way I think with God. I simply said, I need you. So therefore it's not my will, but your will. What do you want me to do? Can you believe uh, what re this world would be if somebody in a relationship would say, you know what, forget my needs. What do you need me to do? Listen, huh? BB, think you about know what? It. Think about it. <laughs> okay, that's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother BB. conversation. We can't even cover that. On See Sister what I'm Circle. talking about? <laughs> yes. And also, it can be a little scary to say that to God yes. because when you start saying, God, I need you and I surrender to yes. you, some then stuff could show up. Then it's not about you. As well, he could it's, do some things. Exactly. You know, <laughs> that you may not like. It calls you to, to love people that you don't like, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. we have a command of, to, you know, we're, we're surrounded by hatred. And people are saying, what is the answer to this? Academ uh, epidemic, epidemic. And, 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 and people don't believe it's love, but love is more powerful mm -hmm. than hatred. But we need God's strength to love someone who, who hates you. 
And that's what we're missing, huh? Exactly. All right. And you know what? The gospel industry, gospel music, the ebbs and flows, you've seen it evolve, change, Uh all of that. You know, a lot of times it it gets a lot of criticism today because it can lean a little (laughs) secular in some people's opinions. Yes. Um, Where do you stand or what do you think about the evolution of music and and gospel music in particular? Well, I think in in everything, there's times when, you know, you sit back and I'll sit back and say, now, I don't understand that. But there used to be a time when that was me, you know? Okay. And so I've learned in, in my liking, I'm going to have an opinion. I'm going to enjoy certain types of music, but not to, to discourage others and the, the generation of what they're listening to. Just as long as there's a message there. That's always been my, uh, um, my desire is to make sure there's a positive message because music is a powerful tool and you can encourage people to do good or do wrong or do bad through music. So I just, with any and every artist, encourage them to make sure you're saying something that's going to encourage whoever's listening to be a better them. have been away from music for the past 10 years, but like you say, you've had a lot of other things going on. And one of the biggest things is your new book coming yes. out in October. Yes. Born for This comes out. I mean, are you just thrilled? And- thrilled about it. And you know, some people automatically say, um, you were born to sing and that's what you're talking <laughs> about. And that's just the part. In the book, I say, you know, I was born to be ridiculed. I was born, born to be misunderstood. And that is a part of being in the eye of the public. You gotta have thick skin. And, and, and in order to be what God has called you to be, they're gonna talk about you, you're gonna be misunderstood, but I was born to, to take all those things and take the message that I have to let people know that you are not a mistake. Everybody that is born, you're destined, and, and you have something that God has planted inside of you, so get up and do it. I love that. We need that encouragement to keep yes. it moving, to keep it going, because life is not easy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and never will be. It probably never but will. But when you know who you are, my father told us, and this is in the book, he said, before you go out into the world, before you leave my house, you're going to know who you are. So when everyone else starts to say who you are, Ooh. you won't believe them. Don't forget who you are. Exactly. I like that. So speaking of your book, in chapter 10, yes. you talk about dealing with color. There's mm-hmm. a quote that you say, you and your sister Cece were two black sore thumbs sticking out in a white <laughs> world of pine trees yes. and cowboy hats. Yes. Um, you know, tell me about that and where that quote comes from or came from for you. Well, people will realize that when, when, when they read the book that Cece and I was not a duet. We became mm. a duet when we moved to Charlotte, North Carolina with Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. And it was Jim Baker who, oh. long story short, came to the room with where we were rehearsing and said, I have a song that I just heard, change some of the words, <laughs> and I want you, BB, and you, Cece, to yeah. do it as a duet. Okay. And that's how we became a duet. But in that time, we, I met a lot of racism. Mm. And I understood, wow, this does exist. And it, it exists in Christian, in Christian dome. Isn't that crazy? You know, it was hard to, to really? You love, <laughs> you love God and you hate me? And, and, mm-hmm. and so there's, there's one situation that, that they, they can read about where the cameraman, for years, his wife had a history of miscarriages. And we would pray for him. I would tell him, I'm praying for you. And so mm-hmm. she had the baby. A couple of years later, he's leaving. And he comes to me crying and bawling, saying, thank you. I'm like... Thank me for what? And he said, I was raised in a Christian home. I ha- Our parents taught us to hate black people, but because of the love you showed me consistently, wow. it broke the chains of hatred inside wow. of me. And so I learned then at as, as, as a young adult that love is more powerful than hatred. Your award-winning musical, Born for This, yeah. has done exceptionally <laughs> well, right? You booked the same name. Yeah. So it's done exceptionally well. But the word on the street is that you want to take it to Broadway. Oh, we are going. Yes. We were offered two theaters this past year, but it was not the right size of what we want. But we are on the list. 2020 will be the year that we go from the last place where we were, which, which was Boston, 
um, to Broadway. From the beginning, this was a Broadway show. And so the perseverance and the determination is what you always need to get to where you want to go and where God has called you to go. All you right. have to have determination. So we will invite you there. Oh, I'm, I'm there. Get your stuff ready. Oh, to get, perform? Get, get, no, no, for, for oh, the no, that, leave that for part the red carpet. Did you hear that? Just Did you the, hear that? Probably. I heard that. Okay. But just, just come check. with your dress. Was, oh, carpet. just visit to and relax. be in the audience. And watch. Oh, I thought you were saying, <laughs> you know, you had a role. Okay. <laughs> it's already scripted. And you have your yes, people. Yes, all right. I get that. it. Okay. <laughs> He's like, summer, <laughs> stay. <laughs> but what do you think it's been about your musical, about your Broadway musical that has resonated so much and so well with your audience? You know, the music is, is, is important, but the story, again, people don't know our story. Mm -hmm. And so it resonates because people, I think, see themselves and their families and their situations on stage. You know, different names, different cities, but at the same time, same experiences. And I think it resonates because it really is life. You know, if you've, if you've experienced loss, when mm -hmm. I lost my brother, that was the most devastating thing I ever experienced. Yeah. So if you've experienced that, then your story is my story. And so I think it resonates there because it's truth. Okay. Yeah. I love it. All right. So not only are you doing great things in the creative world, but you started a new Instagram and it's a <laughs> campaign <laughs> that you have going on here called Get It Done. Yes. So you're trying to get people to get what done exactly. And, and it wasn't my <laughs> campaign. I just oh, was no. just being honest and just telling people and it just one day that came out, uh, you know, my journey has been a real journey. I had a struggles with, with weight, with weight as well mm -hmm. as a lot of us do. Mm -hmm. And one day it just clicked and I said, you know what, this is done. Mm -hmm. And so with the Instagram, I've just encouraged people to get up, get it done. Because there's nothing about workout mm -hmm. that I enjoy other than when I go to the doctor's office, I'm not worried about him saying <laughs> high blood pressure, mm -hmm. diabetes, various other things that we, we, we choose mm -hmm. to ignore and not do anything about it. So mm -hmm. I just encourage, if I can do it, then I'm telling everybody get up and get it done because you can do it. I love it. And you know in the church, we like to go to church <laughs> and eat. Eat the wrong food. <laughs> the wrong things. <laughs> Only on occasion, in moderation. Yes, right. because I have not been on a diet. I lost the, the 80 something pounds, kept oh it gosh. off, changed my whole body type. But, and I did it one day at a time, you know. We're, we're just impatient people. We yes, want it to happen just like that. A friend of mine said, we don't believe in miracles, we believe in magic. <laughs> I like that, but can't do that with weight. You look amazing. Thank you. Absolutely Feeling amazing, amazing too. I can tell. It's, you're you. glowing. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> all right, so you know we got to ask this question yes. because okay. um, we love seeing you all together. Um, any new music coming out with you and Cece anytime soon? Well, I, I never say never. Okay. Um, you know, Cece and I, we do things every now and then together, some private things, this and that, uh, fundraisers. Um, and that's an easy one mm -hmm. for us to get back on the stage mm -hmm. and do what we do. Um, but uh, maybe a live album. Ooh. That's something we now never that would be did. Good. And so we, you know, we shall see. Some people want us to do a family tour yes. too, with the rest of the day. And it's just, it's difficult, but never say Never. I was about to say, you have an amazing, <laughs> talented family. Well, thank you so much for spending this time thank with us. Thank you for having and me. Sharing all of your wonderful accolades and things to come. I'm excited. I appreciate it. Appreciate right. it. Thank and we'll you. see you on Broadway. We'll see you on Broadway. <laughs> yes! Yes! Job. Yes! yes. Jackson, and we appreciate BB so much. Yes, oh, but we appreciate amazing. our special correspondent, special sister, Thank Summer you. Jackson. Thank you so for much for your that. amazing hard work Thank and you. job well done. May God continue to make room for your gifts. Yes, 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 so yes. Much. you're Thank immensely you. talented and yes. a seasoned journalist, and we're just happy to have you a part of our family. Thank yes, you. Thank yes, you. great Thank job, you. great Thank job. You. It was Make so awesome. Yes, it was an awesome experience getting a chance to interview BB. Winans, yes. You know, so when you listen to your entire life, and he was just so personable, down to earth, and to hear him just doing so many amazing yeah. things, yes. it just motivates you. Like, okay, what are you doing? Right. You know, he just doesn't stop. Yes. So it was just fantastic. Good, I'm, good. I'm so grateful. Speaking awesome. of not stopping, you don't stop. That's so right. Thank, thank you so thank much you. for thank all you. that you do for us. All right, make sure you check out BB's new album, Need You, on all digital streaming platforms, and be sure to pick up his new book, Born for This, on October fifteenth, wherever fine books are sold.